Okay, listen in. Listen in real quick. A vibe will not give you peace. I repeat, a vibe will not give you peace. <laughs> Listen, culture right now is so chock full of manifestation and Eastern forms of meditation and philosophy and a consistent search for happiness and fulfillment in life. Listen, this isn't new. Like this is this has always been the nature of humans, a constant quest for inner peace and healing. When the world is full of chaos, let's be honest, when when your world is full of chaos, we 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 long for something that's not. We, we want peace. So how do we get it? Well, scripture says that God will keep in perfect peace those who keep their minds stayed on him. So let's focus in on God today. Like let's let's dig into the Psalms, okay? And I I love the Psalms. I am partial to them. I love the Psalms so much. You see, the Psalms are just a book of poetry and, and song. It's multiple books actually in within the Psalms, but it's just, just books of poetry and songs. And they're used to express praise and joy, but also fear and sadness to the Lord. You used to express our emotions, the emotions of the writers to the Lord. I mean, think of it this way. I feel like the Psalms do a really good job of providing a soundtrack to the range of human emotions that we may feel. Like they're, they're like the Spotify playlist for the soul, right? And so, so often in the chaos of the world around us, we're looking for clear and concrete ways to get peace or happiness or fulfillment. And I think Psalm 1 gives us a great understanding of that. You know, the author starts talking about how blessed are those who don't follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners or join in with the mockers. You know, that word blessed is translated to happiness in the Bible. So happy are those who don't kick it with the wicked. You know what I'm saying? Happy are those who don't stand around with sinners or join in with the know-it-alls. And then in verses two and three, it says, but they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. Mm, so good. That's so good. Now, that word meditating or meditation in Hebrew is daga, which literally means to soliloquize, right? So to talk to yourself, to speak your thoughts out loud. Most meditation, like most of what we know about meditation and Eastern forms of meditation and, and thinking, it would tell you to empty your mind. Like clear it out of all the things, like empty your mind completely. But listen, meditation on the law of God, meditation on the word of God is not a clearing of the mind. It's a filling of the mind. So often, and listen, I'm, I'm guilty of this too. Like we, we read the scripture so passively. Like we read our chapter a day and then we go on about our business. But listen, it's it's meant to be meditated on. It's meant to be sat with, to talked out and, and reasoned with, chewed on. Like this is the word of God. It is meant to be meditated on. So practically today, why don't you take a passage of scripture that moves you, that inspires you, that motivates you to greater and spend just five minutes sitting and reading it aloud. Speak it over yourself over and over and over again until it begins to penetrate your heart, until it begins to penetrate your soul and take over your being, until you memorize it, until you can quote it backwards and forwards to yourself when your world gets chaotic. Because there's power in the scriptures. There's power in the scriptures, the power to give you peace in the middle of the storm, the power to remind you of the promises of God, the power to course correct our past. Like there's power in the scriptures and quite simply a power that a vibe just doesn't have. A vibe will not give you peace. Emptying yourself will not bring you the peace that you want, but the word of God will. Keeping your mind stayed on God will keep you in perfect peace. So meditate on the word. Meditate on the word and you will bear fruit. You'll find what you're searching for. So hope that encouraged you today. I hope that it encouraged you to sit with the word a little bit longer, to take the word with you throughout the day and meditate on its truth. Soliloquize, speak it out loud over yourself over and over again until it gets into your soul. Let's meditate on the word of God today. We'll talk tomorrow.